Hey everybody, it's Lori from the Knitting Sisters. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your Addy 46 pin. There's going to be a couple items that you are going to need. First is, of course, your Addy. Um, we're going to use this little screwdriver that comes with the Addy. A microfiber cloth. What I tend to use is white lithium grease. You can get this at Napa, Walmart, or any other place. Just make sure you're using something that is capable um, not to melt the plastic. As well as um, give you a little air duster, as you guys can see, just a little dust of air. And then, of course, I'll get, it, get you a couple of these little salsa bowls. They are perfect to put your screws in. Let's get started. Okay, first things first, we're gonna take out these four top screws right here. And I'm gonna go along with you. And what I forgot to mention, I'm actually gonna put it inside a salsa bowl. That way I keep all my screws where they're supposed to be. So once I get these, I'm gonna put this bowl aside. Then we're gonna take out these four bottom screws right here. Okay, so once we get those top, top two, we're going to take this part off. And I like to keep my pieces on the same, so I'm going to keep moving my stuff around. And we're going to um, move this piece and keep it with the same. So as you guys can see, I cleaned, uh, put it over there. My machine is very, very dirty, so um, mm -hmm. I have not cleaned this machine before. Okay, so once we get this this completely out. I'm going to flip it upside down and I'm going to move this bowl around and then as you guys can see we have four in here as well. We're going to remove those and this one is the first time I have taken this machine apart. So what we're going to do is put take these apart When you take it apart, it could be really tight, so just be careful with that. And get another salsa bowl. making sure you're not losing any one of the pieces or the screws I should say okay I'm going to remove that piece and I'm going to set that bowl aside same thing, we got more screws all the way around. I'm gonna grab another salsa bowl. And these bowls are used specifically just for my cleaning.
And then as you can see, we have two screws right here. Carefully remove those as well. And so what I'm going to do, I like to keep all my screws in order that I take them out. And each one, each pair or set will have its own little salsa bowl. Pull that one out. There we go. Now comes the fun part. We are going to flip it back upside down, right side up, and we are just going to take this part off. And then your mess, your with this whole mess. As you guys can see, it is a very, very oily. Um, this is the way that it came from Addy. As you guys can see, there's so much extra oil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that middle piece out and all my pins should fall or com completely come out. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to grab a bowl and then we're going to put all of them in a bowl. Okay, so you see I have my bowl. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one out and I'm just going to lightly clean it off. We're just getting rid of all that yarn wet residue. And then once I get it cleaned, um, I will um, take my same exact mi microfiber cloth and then I will spray a little bit of that white lithium grease. Okay, so now that we got all of our pins out, I'm just going to remove. First, I'm going to remove this black piece. As you guys can see, it does have a lot of oils. As you can see, my fingers are really dirty because of it. So what I'm going to do is just a nice, see all the yarn fibers? We're just going to wipe all this off. We're just going to grab all that. As you guys can see, it is caking up. So I'm actually going to grab some paper towel just to help get rid of some of that nastiness off of here. We don't want to wipe it all completely out. We just want to get all those yarn fibers off of it. And we are going to re-grease this because we definitely do want to make sure we have grease on this. And we're just going to wipe everything around. And then I'm going to put that aside. Same thing, we're going to grab this, uh, the golden ring is what is called, the gold ring. And as you guys can see, we're going to have a lot of uh, that um, nastiness off of it. We're just going to wipe it all down. And then also, too, while you're checking it, just make sure you guys check your yellow teeth or your teeth on here. Because if you do have 
grinding gears. It's one of these teeth that are um, grinded down and that's when you're gonna drop your stitches or um, um, skip your stitches or it's gonna be that grinding kind of feeling. As you guys can see, we are getting all that nastiness off. All the way around. Same on this side. And then also in the inside, so as you guys can see, you have teeth in the inside, not really teeth, but just that kind of grooves. You just kind of want to lightly dust these off as well. Make sure you go all the way around. This is where a lot of your gunk buildup will happen. side and then you see all that build up down there you just going to want to make sure to clean that area really good get rid of all those little fibers in there as you can see my rag is starting to get dirty best as you can. Every once in a while, you'll grab a can of air and just kind of dust it. Okay. Set that aside and then just kind of wipe everything down nice and neat. Not taking too much of the grease off. You're just kind of getting rid of all that uh, built up. Okay, so once you get everything wiped down, you're gonna wanna take your microfiber and then give it a nice little spray of this white lithium grease. I usually just spray directly onto the rag. You want a ni nice and thick coating, just nothing too much. And what you're going to do is you're going to work backwards. So as you can see, last thing that we took off with was our golden ring and we're just going to want to make sure that we keep everything nice and lubricated um, so we're just going to wipe this area not leaving a really thick greasy mark but just make sure we go through the whole entire thing as well as in between each of one of those grooves every once in a while you will might you might need to put a little bit more white lithium grease on we are just making sure everything is nice and coated.
Okay, now we're gonna see it right back in here. And as you guys can see, it does have a little notch right here. What you're going to want to do is, you see this little notch right there? You're gonna to wanna to make sure that that um, is in that, that same exact, this is where you're gonna be count, your counter is gonna happen. So once we do that, we are going to grab each one of these and I'm gonna spray my rag just a little bit more um, and we're just gonna make sure everything is nice and nicely coated. Give it a nice little squeeze. And then we're just gonna put everything back super, super um, nice and lubricated, nothing too much. We don't want extra stuff on our, um, on our pins because that will actually transfer to the yarn. And we're just gonna go one by one. Okay, so before you proceed, what I like to do is what I'm going to do is once I get, because I got that golden ring, um, I got this little part on top of the golden ring. I got to make sure that that little nipple, as you guys can see right there, is that in that little slot right here. And what I like to do is depending on where your number one pin is, my, in my case, my first black pin is going to be my number one. What I'm going to do is hold this down just very slightly. And while I'm holding it down, I'm actually 
going to um, actually let me turn this a little bit. I'm going to crank it a little bit. And as you guys can see, my counter just counted. Just to make sure, I'm going to go back and then do the same exact thing. As you can see, my counter just moved. I wanna, I'm going to show you one more time. So uh, my number one pin is coming up. I'm at seven at the end. And I'm just going to hold that down just every so slightly. And I am, there is number eight. So once we get that, then we're going to grab that middle piece to go in the inner. So anytime, if you move this um, golden ring, all your pins are going to come out. And one thing I did forget to do, I did forget to clean this. So I'm just going to wipe this down. This one does not have to be greased, but we are gonna just wipe it down, get a nice little clean swoop inside and the outside. And then I am going to line up, as you guys can see, it lines up perfectly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work our way back in. Because I don't want my pins to fall out, I'm going to um, work back this way. Okay, so now we're going to screw in all four of these screws. Keep in mind, these ones right here should be the flat ones. As you guys can see, they are flat on the end. There is a couple that have the pointed tips, and I will show you for reference. That's the pointed. We don't want to use those on here. Okay, we're going to put all these little screws in right through the middle. We're not going to tighten it very tight. So keep that in mind, tightening it up kind of loose. And then we will go back, once we get everything seated properly, we will actually go back and tighten up everything. So now I'm going to tighten it. So I'm going to tighten that one, go across, tighten that one. And you don't want to tighten them too tight because just keep in mind everything is plastic. Okay, so once we get that on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to match up my counter. Make sure everything aligns perfectly. Sometimes you have to do a little wiggle and then we're gonna go upside down. And we're going to put those screws upside down, back in. Same thing, actually what I wanna do is I wanna start with my counter, so we're gonna work backwards. So there is my two screws that goes in my counter. And we're just gonna work our way backwards. So once we get those little screws, put those in there. There we go, and we don't wanna tighten them too tight just yet. We wanna make sure everything goes in there properly. Okay, now we can give them a nice little snug each side and we're going to put that one away now we're going to take our other screws and we're going to screw them in all of the four holes that we took them out at same thing before as before we're going to um, screw them in we're not going to screw them in too tight at first and i always want to work opposite side so i work that side i'm going to grab this side Oops.
making sure that we don't do too tight at first. Okay, and grab this one. Sometimes nails help you, sometimes they hurt you. There we go. Once we get it, we can tighten it. Same thing as before, you don't want to tighten it too tight because keep in mind everything is plastic. Okay. All right, we are done with that. All right, so the next part is going to be making sure that we align the legs properly. We're just making sure the holes. Okay, so keep in mind, so uh, there is a certain way that these actually go on. I wish it was not like this. So we are going to keep moving it around until we match up. And we are not matched up just yet. There we go. <clears throat> We're gonna take those other four and do the same thing. What I like to do before I get it started, just kind of lift up. And I know you guys can't really see what I'm doing because you want to make sure that it matches into that hole. If you guys can see that hole, we want to make sure that it matches right in there. As you can see, this one popped up a little bit. So yes, it is perfect. And we're going to tighten it. We're not going to tighten it too tight. We're going to do the same exact thing that we did prior. So we're going to grab that one. We're going to go on the opposite side. And we're going to grab this one. I just noticed I'm missing that bottom piece. one. Sorry if you guys can hear my dog whining in the background. <laughs> All right, and the last one. So now we're going to give everyone a nice little tight snug on every single one of these, making sure everything is seated in there properly and tightly. Once we get around, we are going to flip it around, right side up. We are done with this salsa bowl, so I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the way. Okay, so before proceeding on, I always like to do a small little function check. And as you guys can see, I'm making sure that everything is matched up. As you guys can see again, we're going to go and make sure that it clicks on those white pins, which it did. So now is going to be the fun part. So I'm gonna back it up and I'm gonna make sure. So as you guys can see, I do have mine numbered. And then also I painted this, these two on the um, outside of the white. I did paint these two 
um, white with regular just nail polish. That helps me out. What I want to do is make sure that I go in and sometimes you're going to have to angle it in. Sometimes it can be a little pain in the keister, but um, all we're going to do is just kind of wiggle it never forcefully, never, never forcefully. And as you can see, it's seated nicely, perfectly in there. And then I'm going to grab that last top piece and you want to make sure that top piece goes right over your counter. That is going to be your yarn feeder and then match these these little screw holes up. Same thing as before. Grab your screws and then you want to make sure everything lines up perfectly. And like I said, don't tighten these too tight. You just want to put it in first, nice and loosely. So we did that one. We're going to go on the opposite side. And you can actually tighten this last one and we're going to go the opposite. Make sure everything is tight go over here, tighten that one and then opposite tight. And there you go. Go ahead and give your Addy a little function check, making sure everything works perfectly. As you can see, everything is perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you follow my channel as well as give this video a like. Thank you guys so much.